Welcome to Tales of Gear. Uh, my name is Tom and in this episode um, I will show you how to install the M203 grenade launcher to your um, gun. Um, in order to do that we will need a few things and uh, let me show you what you're gonna need. Of course your gun, your grenade launcher and the mounting hardware. Uh, this mounting hardware here is uh, the real steel one. We have the barrel bracket, we have the two ceramic washers, then we have the two screws. These are actually from the grenade launcher itself, but they are identical to the real steel one. And we need this piece of wire. I will show you later what this is for. Um, as for tools, I'm using just my Leatherman because of the flathead screwdriver for the screws and you will need a allen wrench that fits the uh, screw in your grenade launcher for tightening it up. So, I will leave a uh, link uh, in the description below where you can check up on the um, M23 manual uh, and the installation steps. Um, I will try today to replicate those uh, steps and to actually show you what it looks like in real life when you try to do that. Before we actually start with the installation, we first need to prepare the gun and the launcher for the installation itself. To do that, we need to take off uh, the handguards first, like that, and you put them aside for later. This is the first step. The second step is to take off the barrel from the grenade launcher. You push this lever here and the grenade launcher barrel will come off like that. Okay? Put the barrel aside. Now we have both parts ready. Uh, we will put this aside for now. And the first step is to add this part to the gun. I will do that like that so you can see it. I will turn the gun upside down. And the idea behind that is to get this pin here inside the delta ring. And you need to align it with the receiver. Check that it's aligned okay you will push on that a little bit later the next step is to add the washers here we go one goes this will be the lower part you simply take it put it on the barrel and slide it under the launcher like that then you take the barrel bracket and this part here goes to the front of the barrel because the gun is upside down this will look like this. I will turn it around later to show you. Then you insert the second washer like that. Okay? Here you go. This will align by itself when installed. Simply go underneath and try to get it on like that. Align it with the holes you see here, okay? Then you take your screws and start screwing them in. This is the first one. You need to push a little bit to press actually to be able to screw the screw in. It will take a little bit of time. Here you go. Just start it, then push the launcher back and start the second screw. Hope you can see that. Simply start it like that. You can check one more time, it's aligned like that. Just keep it pushed back so it doesn't fall off. Then simply hand tight both screws as much as you can. If it doesn't go, don't force it. You can correct that a little bit later. This one goes without any issues. I will hand tighten it 
all the way and now I'm gonna check what's wrong with this one. Oh, this one is doesn't doesn't go straight so just repeat it till it's seated properly here we go that's it now check again if it's all the way back as you see it wasn't now it is and then uh, tighten it down with the flathead screwdriver like that don't over tighten it just make sure it's fixed. Do that same thing to the other screw. Here you go. That's enough. And basically uh, this part here is now fixed to the barrel and to the gun. And uh, the main installation step is actually done. Here again a little bit more close up. I just love to see those ceramic washers on both sides. Now to finish off we will do the airsoft step. This is just a little bit to screw down the screw inside of this to create more tension but don't over tighten it uh, so you don't break the ceramic washer just a little bit that's it and you can now oh before we uh, put back the, the barrel uh, we're coming to the step of adding this locking locking wire this wire is around 8 inches long around 20 centimeters this is how much you need and uh, I will show you uh, how it's done according to the manual I've mentioned before. So you can start from either side, left or right, whichever uh, fits you best. I will start on this side because of the camera, so you can see. First thing you do is to insert the wire through this hole on the screw. Let me show you. See it? So, this is the first step, insert it, here you go, find the middle of the wire, like that, so, and then twist, the twist should be tied around the screw, like that, and the twist should be around an uh, inch and a half or like three centimeters long. The idea behind the twist is so it can get around to reach the other screw. We'll do it a little bit more. Now we're gonna check if this will be enough. Let me show you the other side. Here you go. Just a few more twists. Let me try like that. Just a few more twists. From my experience, it's enough to have it reach um, this corner here. If you reach this corner here and it's tight, that will be enough, as you can see here. All right. Now, the next step is to take one of the ends and to feed it through the other hole. Let me do that. Find a hole, take one end and feed it through. I like to use my Leatherman. Take this end and pull it tight, okay? Then go counterclockwise, as it says in the manual. 
around the screw head like that while having the other end on the other side like this and then also start twisting it like that it's a little bit tricky because it's now much shorter you can help yourself with the leatherman if needed to simply needs to be around the screw you can correct this a little bit and then you can use the leatherman to do the twists like that this will tighten it much better around uh, the screw then you can do just with your fingers um, according to the manual one centimeter long twist is enough and now you can either trim off the excess or twist it like I do all the way and simply um, store it out of the way like that I do it like this I will bring it closer to you so you can see it there you go it's tied around the screw stored away first screw we started with here is the front part how it's twisted and this part is done the last step is to add the barrel simply slide it on like that here you go and then you can attach the the guard like that and you're done now before I um, reinstall the upper handguard uh, here are a few things I want to go through um, that are related to impressions and to clone builds and what was used in the 80s and how it was used uh, when the M23 was on the gun um, First off, I'd like to point out uh, the things I'm going to say are related to Navy SEALs in the 80s and very early 90s. So, uh, let me show you. Um, the setup that would be correct for such impressions uh, from, from that time frame is simply, as we have uh, done now, we have attached the M23. Um, most of the time I haven't seen them using this wire. Um, I don't know why, but uh, or I just couldn't see it uh, clearly on the reference pictures. I don't know. If someone knows for sure, uh, please comment and uh, I really would like to know this information. Uh, secondly, um, they have used this, uh, this handguard like that. Um, I'm showing you the setup with this handguard because there was another option that was done a little bit later in the 90s and this is this one here. This is a original cold handguard with the original M203 leaf side attached. This is how I bought it and um, it's a pretty cool piece in my collection. I love it and it looks very cool on that. We will attach that a little bit later but for now uh, stick to the Navy SEAL uh, setup. The other thing that is very specific to uh, the M203, the gun with the M203 for Navy SEALs from the 80s is this little tube here. If you have watched my other video uh, on the M23 uh, I have mentioned it there and uh, I've promised to show you what this is, what this is for. Now uh, this is a simple piece of tube uh, that can fit on the uh, front part of the barrel and let me show you how this is done. You unscrew the flash hider like that. Take off the crush washer and then take the tube 
and put it on. Reinstall the washer like that and then screw back the flash hider. Try to align this tube uh, equally onto the barrel bracket so it pushes equally on it and then just screw tight the flash hider and here is what we got this is what it looks like and the reason why they did that is to prevent the grenade launcher from uh, moving forward or from falling off so I will blend in a few reference pictures where you can see this uh, on some you will notice that they have a piece of tube even behind here in front of the front side and in front of the barrel bracket or if you will between the barrel bracket and the flash hider so um, the, often I have seen it just with this one here um, as for the sling attachment they would of course attach it to the back here on the stock and then simply around the front side like that and this setup here is actually the Navy SEAL setup for the 80s and early 90s if you have the M653 Now, um, let me show you a few other uh, things related to the M203 that can be added to the gun. This is the M203 sight and let me show you how to install that. Simply take your gun, you will see this hole in the carry handle and here is a little dimple on the side as you can see you don't need to take out the screw simply unscrew it far enough so you can slide on this side align it with the hole and the dipple like that here you go and then take this part here and push it till it's fixed like that or you can also move it forward like that and then screw screw tight here we go and this is it it's installed and it looks like that now you can when you use it you open up the front the back side of it which look like that both are adjustable up and down up and down and of course here is where you adjust your range this is 50 meters and all the way to 400 meters this would look like that very steep angle so this is one one type of sight and as you have seen before this is the second type the leaf sight let me show you how this looks taking off this handguard and now installing this one here there you go it's installed flip it up and aim you're aiming it with the front side 100 200 meters you can also fine tune it, tune it here by unscrewing it you can also adjust it left and right by turning the screw here here close up that will be better yeah so this is what it looks like with all the attachments related to the M203. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, 
Only thing is that I haven't seen this one in use on carbines. Uh, also not that much this part here. They simply tend to shoot it uh, without uh, the sights. We're coming to the end of this video. Um, please uh, like, share, subscribe. Uh, feel free to comment. Um, this is it. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.